Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Star Tropics. In last episode, Mr. Tumnus rescued a boy dolphin. Uh, but after he rescued the boy dolphin, uh, a storm unfortunately caught his submarine and, uh, well, he crashed. And, and uh, well, now he's on foot and you gotta find someone to repair his uh, sub. Go to Miracola and find help for your wrecked ship. Well, thank you, sir. Well, I was just wondering, how am I gonna repair my ship? Well, apparently people in Miracola can work miracles. So, this chapter is really, really long. There's multiple dungeons. Uh, some are long, some are short. Uh, we've got a short one right here. Uh, but, uh, now it gets to Miracola. Uh, and then there's another uh, dungeon after it, so... Uh, yeah, this is a real long chapter. Probably the longest in the game, so... Uh, yeah, it's weird. Uh, there are eight chapters in total, and the longest one is uh, right here in chapter three, so... We got a new uh, sub weapon there, Bolos. They go all the way across the screen, uh, so... But we're just gonna save them, because uh, these little uh, dodo birds, they're uh, pretty easy, so... Uh, we'll just take care of them with our yo-yo slash uh, island star. We'll save our uh, bolos for these monkeys. Yeah, they're pretty quick and uh, they are very erratic in their movements. So having the bolos being able to reach all the way across screen uh, helps us out. So two t two hits take them out. And remember, because you can't uh, keep your sub weapons after uh, when you exit the dungeon, uh, just throw them throw them like uh, as fast as you can. So yeah, don't no use uh, saving them. So. Just uh, jump there and uh, avoid the snakes. And this is going to be a common occurrence in uh, this chapter. These uh, tiles that sink down into the uh, water. So you got to be kind of quick to uh, avoid uh, falling into the water. Remember, Mr. Tumnus can't swim. Now these uh, birds, uh, they're pretty tough. They take a lot of hits, uh, but they pause before they jump over. So what you want to do is you want to just kind of uh, hang out and uh, whatchamacallit, uh, when they get to the uh, edge of the water, then you can hit them a few times and then move around and rinse and repeat. So There's also some dark rooms there. You just kind of want to uh, watch the room when you enter it. If you don't see what's happening, just leave the room and go back in and make note of uh, how many steps you have to take before you can jump so you don't jump in the water. And here we are in Miracola. So let's see what we have to do here. Welcome to Miracola. Let's see if we can find somebody to help uh, repair our ship. So a secret passage right here. But Nan is sick in bed. Get out. Hmm. Okay. Sutton tells me we're gonna have to cure her. Hi, I'm Brave Sailor too. Can I go with you? You almost died at sea. Um. Uh. Um. I'm getting seasick. I better stay here. Mr. Tumnus agrees. Where do you come from, Americola? I guess. You're actually coming from Sea Island. I'm so worried. Bad and Net, Net has been sick for so long. Uh oh. Have we tried giving her coconut milk? It healed all of Mr. Tumnus's hearts. I'm Miss Mira in 1990. Have you met Miss Coral? Which one of us? If we say her, she says we're honest and cute. Uh, if we tell her that, uh, Coral is uh, prettier than her, she gets a little upset, so... But it doesn't affect anything. Our chief loves his daughter so much, very much, but alas, she is sick. Uh-oh. Let's enter this hut from the side. Yeah, there's another kid here. You're tired. Drink some coconut milk. Oh, well, we didn't really, we weren't really tired, because see, we have full hearts there, but... There's a guy hanging out over there. We'll talk to him in a little bit. Let's uh, see what this guy over here... He kind of looks like a mushroom retainer from Mario Brothers. Looks like he has a mushroom hat on. Like the uh, Toad. He's the most famous mushroom retainer uh, in the Mario uh, Kingdom. In the Mario series of games. Do you know about the castle of Shikola? Better not go there. Let me guess. It's only with women. If you guess that, well, you're right, minions. Mm-hmm. Shikola, the castle of women. You may enter. Some, probably some princesses there. Mm -hmm. I'm just hanging out. He is the chief of Miracola. Hey, I'm Chief Miracola. Mike, I've heard of your courageous adventures. Please, can you help me? He kind of looks like Mario. 
One year ago, many shooting stars appeared in the sky, and suddenly dreadful lightning flashed. Since that night, my dear Banana Net has slept and she will not awake. Please help my daughter, she is upstairs. Some say a mountain hermit lives who has healing spells. You must find him. Please help my daughter and I'll fix your wreck ship. Well, Mario was initially Jumpman and he was initially a carpenter in uh, Donkey Kong. So uh, maybe that's a throwback to Mario's initial job as a carpenter. He can uh, fix things. In the Coast Guard, we call them damage control men. We uh, train them where I worked. We, uh, so then we can send them out into the fleet and, you know, repair ships when, you know, they need to. So, pretty neat. I do not have any uh, good construction skills. Banette is sick in bed. Oh, you're Mr. Tumnus. I'm so worried Banette has been sick for so long. And there she is. She's still sleeping. Hmm. wonder how they're, like, feeding her. Maybe, like, uh, I guess intravenously, like, feeding her uh, liquids. Because, uh, you know, she can't go without a year without eating or drinking. So, hmm. Well, now that we've talked to all these people and we kind of have an idea of what our quest needs to be, we can talk with this guy and he'll leave. Good luck. And he'll let us exit the village. And there's the mountain over there where the Merhermit is, but it's going to be a long journey until we get to that mountain. We've got a, quite a few dungeons, including this one right here that we have to go through. And this one is a little bit longer than the last one. Not too, too long, uh, but... Uh, it does have a boss, so we'll just walk past those snakes, jump when we get by them. Once again, to take out these uh, skeleton head birds, we uh, go across the water. When they pause, we uh, take advantage of their paws, and we hit them a few times. And if we're fast enough... This is an interesting room. We have to use the enemies to determine where to jump. So we have these snakes over here, so we just watch. And see, that snake is only uh, one tile away, so that's the way we can jump. Now, eventually, we're going to get to a, a light uh, to see where things... Now, see the same... Uh, the octopus there. He was... Uh, you watch where he jumps, and it kind of shows you where you need to go. Now, look at the bottom. If you pay attention, there's a big hole there. We can jump through that hole and come down here and get a magic item. What are we going to get? Some medicine. So, remember, the medicine refills five hearts when you drink it. So, look. Now, I just don't have to defeat the enemies again, luckily. And here we have a new annoying enemy, bees. Not the bees. Uh, now the only good bees is uh, bees from Marty Mouse House. He's a, a miniature polar bear from outer space. Mm -hmm. Good old bees. Mm -hmm. And we got sinking tiles again, so we've got to be very quick. Jump, jump, jump. And we are safe. All right, now we got to go further down into this uh, little passageway. Getting down, and looks like we're getting into a bunch of lava here. Yep. Mr. Tumnus hates water. He hates lava even more. So, now we have this weird sign here. You can get it. You can get uh, minus one, plus one, or uh, plus two. So you have a greater chance of gaining lives uh, than you do of losing lives. So, bees are annoying. Uh, but luckily in this room, there's a, an item somewhere, a clock. And the clock can either freeze enemies entirely, or it could slow them down. So it's random, but either way, it's definitely helping us out. So, all right, We've got these mud men who come out of the lava. Sometimes we're gonna get zombies who come out of lava then too. But all right, now in this room, uh, we want to head up with the right passageway, but we can go. Uh, get a few other things uh, on the other passageway, but we gotta be careful. So defeat that bee, and that opens up that little passageway there. Go this way to get parts. We don't want to go any further, though, because if you go up any further, it's a dead end, and it's a, literally a dead end, because it you jump into lava. So, And you'll see that when we uh, head up this way here. So keep an eye out on the path on the left there. Boink, it ends up seeing whoever was... Uh, Whatchamacallit, was in, uh, went that way. A uh, bunch of skulls there, so. Yep. And here we have our boss, Magma the Fierce. Now, you can't damage Magma. The way you have to uh, defeat him is you have to dump him into the water. And you defeat him uh, by dumping him in the water by destroying those uh, red little balls there that are like basically like, I guess, uh, like bridges that are holding up uh, his platform there. 
So you just hit those two foot pads that I just showed you, and then jump on the buttons. And eventually, all these uh, little blocks that he's standing on disappear, drops him into the water, and he takes a nice cold bath. And being a fire guy, I guess uh, he's uh, adverse to water baths. He must take water even worse than Mr. Tumnus. And we defeat Magma the Fierce. And hey, we've done it. We've completed another dungeon, but there's still several more to go. Like I said, this chapter is very, very long. So, woohoo, wow, we've done it. But luckily, we get a save after this little uh, dungeon. And let's explore a little bit more of the island. Hey, there's a castle there. I wonder if that's uh, Shikola. Yeah, let's find out. Some say a queen of peerless beauty lives in this castle of Shikola, but only women may enter the castle. Seek help in the fortune teller's camp. Uh-oh. I'm a Shikola of Shikola. Get out of here. Uh-oh. Well, no luck going that way. Well, let's head back this way. We have a pathway here. Let's uh, let's explore. Mr. Tumnus is a very curious rat. He likes to uh, explore. It's gonna serve him well on this quest. There he is. I'm gonna head downstairs. Hey, there's somebody. I'm a fortune teller. Sorry, but I can't help you. I dropped my crystal ball in a pond at Ghost Village. Uh oh, another fest qu fetch quest for Mr. Tumnus. Looks like he's gonna need the fortune teller's help, but she needs our help to get her crystal ball. From the ghost village. Where can the ghost village be? Well, let's head over this way. Maybe it's over here. We got another dungeon over here. Let's hop in. Let's uh, check out what's in this little dungeon here. Let's head up. Hmm, there's a t foot pad here. Hmm, but nothing's happening. Hmm. Well, I guess uh, nothing to do but turn around. So, uh-oh. Well, that's a dead end. But, uh, where's the ghost village? And, uh, will Mr. Tums be able to find it? And even if he does, will he be able to find that crystal? Find out in our next episode. Bye!